Macro features are custom features that are defined using the SOLIDWORKS application programming interface. Right now you're watching a demonstration of a macro feature that creates a spike at the location of a selected sketch point. Like a standard SOLIDWORKS feature, macro features can use property manager pages for their user interfaces and display a preview while the property manager page is up. Once created, the macro feature is listed in the feature manager tree. I've also chosen to make the parent sketch the sub-feature of the macro feature. Later, if we want, we can edit the definition of the macro feature. Notice that the spike is not defined by a 2D sketch like most features. That's because I'm using the iModeler interface to create the body. Using iModeler, you can create solid or sheet bodies on demand without sketches. This macro feature also supports the ability to merge the spike body with one intersecting body. In order to do this, the macro feature must detect whether the spike body and any other body in the part have any intersecting edges. If they do, a Boolean operation is run to join the bodies together. The resulting body is returned as the body belonging to the macro feature. Notice that, like any other feature, we can roll back the feature in order to examine the history of the model. Macro features are useful beyond creating and modifying bodies. Macro features are also ideal for running calculations or custom property updates on the model after every rebuild. Here is an example in which a macro feature is being used to record the major and minor version of SOLIDWORKS that the model is saved in. If this part is opened in a newer version and rebuilt, the custom property will be updated accordingly. This macro feature was also coded to prevent tampering. The ability to suppress, delete, and roll back the macro feature have been disabled. Also note that each time the macro feature rebuilds, the code from the macro file itself is run. This means that if 50 models use this macro feature, all 50 instances can be modified if the administrator decides to change the code in the source macro file. If you want to learn how to write your own macro features, as well as get the code for the macros used in this video, visit www.cadsharp.com